What's your name? Gigi. Gigi. Where are you calling us from, Gigi? Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia, South Carolina. Yes. How old are you? I'm 25. 25. What you do for a living? I'm a correctional officer at DJJ. Correctional officer at what? DJJ. I'll just say correctional officer. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. You have any children? No, I don't. No kids. Have you ever been married? No. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius. Mm -hmm. So we have Gigi, um, yes. Columbia, South Carolina, 25 Aquarius, correctional officer, no kids, never married. What kind of man you looking for, girl? <sighs> Honestly, just somebody to love me for me. Um, I'm not real picky. Um, I just don't want nobody that's extremely like unattractive or anything like that. So I'm not real picky about the guy. As long as he's not like a, a criminal, somebody that's in the streets, gang banging, you know, stuff like that. I'm not into that. This is a nightmare. Like she a 25 year old correction officer. She working in prison. And she got them tattoos all up her arm, her hand. She got a piercing through her face. I don't know. Listen here, man. If I'm an inmate in there and I ain't gonna see the daylight no time soon, I'm the long I'm working the long con on her. I'm working this sister over. And I'm I'm working on her nerves, I'm working on her patience, dwindle her down. Yeah, some brother trying to get that in between the bars action, and that's that's just what every man see. I don't care. You working in this prison. Them brothers ain't in there saying, how you doing, Miss Security Guard late? Hope you have a nice day. No. They exposing this. <laughs> it's wild, wild work environment. Occupational hazard for show. 25 no kids already. Three red flags. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to my guy, Lucifer. He making it rain tonight, folks. He come back with another 25. He says, yeah. I hit Ebony K. Raw. I'm the pappy. This is Lucy Wow. You have your child support. Showing a baby off. Showing a baby off. Let me find out Lucy on child support. <laughs> All right, here we go. Go ahead, Cook Sister. I, I prefer older, though. Prefer older. Okay, okay. what are your deal breakers? A, a liar, a cheater, somebody with multiple baby mamas. Okay, liar, cheater. Most of the baby mamas. Should he look a certain way? No. Okay, he looks. Mm -hmm. What about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? No, because I make my own money. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the your cam. Okay. I was trying to find the place where I can put it up. How about this? Hold on. Wait one second. I can do this right here because I'm out the door. So, so can you see me better like this? Okay. We got you, girl. Oh my God! Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. She gonna bend over and stick her tongue out. That's what she be doing in the prison. She be dropping her pen in front of the cells, bending over, nug nug, going crazy, banging his head off the bars. <laughs> he going berserk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! See what I'm saying? And she blowed out. Yeah, twenty five, no kids. And you built like this, we drawing a hard line in the sand from, from this year forward. Unacceptable. You should be fit. If you don't have no kids and you're on the dating market, you should be fit. Done and done. Not partially blowed out. Not pre-diabetic. Here we go. Shout out to <laughs> True Omega Sun. He says five minutes in the broom closet. Now she's a single mom. Unfortunate. <laughs> so here we go. We'll let her keep cooking. We're going to drop her down a half off shorty. Hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> you see how Gigi's getting down? Gigi, right. when mm -hmm. was your last relationship? Um, Two years ago. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, Two weeks ago. Nasty. Is that guy an option? Um, he was until I found out a lot of stuff about him. You know, what did you uh, find out the last 14 days? Um, that he was actually seeing multiple people. How'd you find out? I found him on a dating site. 
Well, how long have you known him for? Um, this year right here, I make three years since I've known him. Were you guys in a relationship? No, I, I met him through work. Then why are you mad that he was dating other women if he wasn't your man? Because it was the stuff that he was telling me. You know, like, oh, well, it's possible that we can be a future together. You know, well, just he was, leading me he, on. He was saying possible in the future y'all could be together. But he never said he have other women. But that's the thing. I would ask him stuff like that. Like, are you, you know, intimate with anybody else? You know, I just like to know these things. And what but, he, he said no? Yeah. Yeah, he told me no, because he will always want to have unprotected sex. But I'll be like, no, you know, because I just want to know the truth about everything. Like, what are you doing outside of me? And he will always be like, nobody, nobody, nobody. But then I found otherwise. So, so, uh, he's for, um, so you know him for three years. How long did you guys date for? We never dated. We would just always, you know, hook up and, you know. So you're, so you knew he wasn't his girlfriend. Y'all were only looking up to have sex. Mm -hmm. So and you saw him on a dating site. So that means he was looking for other women. Right. So I'm I'm trying to think. I'm listen, because mm -hmm. he wasn't your man and you made that agreement, what did he do wrong? I mean, a lot of people may not see that as wrong, but it's just like principles with me. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm calling you and then you're not answering, then you're like, oh, I was at my mom's house. You know, it's the lying for me. You could be honest about stuff, you know, and I will understand that. But when you lying about it, it's a little bit different. I'm, you see I, what I'm saying? I get so, that. I get that. But this is why I don't like situationships. Because with situationships and hookups, Y'all want the relationship rules, but you don't get the relationship rules because you didn't agree. So, like you didn't make that your standard. You didn't make that your requirement. So like right. as you said, y'all was in a relationship, and he agreed to that, and then you found out all these things. Then you have real grounds to be upset. But this is where you got to take self accountability and maybe learn. Mm -hmm. Maybe your lesson is okay. I might need to be in a relationship with a guy I'm having sex with. Because I got to be honest, because he wasn't your man, I mean, he was on a date site. Y'all not exclusive. He, right. just like you on my show trying to find people, he trying to find people. So he technically didn't do nothing wrong. Right. But. Right. So you know what it was. No bread, no water, just meat. Huh. That's what it normally is, Bonquisha. Stop the cat. Thank you. That was a confession. She said, we never had an established relationship. We was just linking up. We was just hunching. Yeah, that brother, he was doing this thing. He couldn't miss. He couldn't lose. All raw, too. Don't know where the hub is. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. And she trying to act all, all like, I don't know. You know, it's just really principles for me. You know, <laughs> what principle? Stop. I want to see this ninja. You see, If you see him, you're like, yeah. He had he still to this day having his way with her. She just hunched him two weeks ago. Here we go again. She ever try to make this ninja jealous. He ain't going nowhere. She been hunting him for years. She said she done known him for years. This is a this is a long-term orbiter. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> so that guy is out. So yeah. you sure it's only been two weeks? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm positive. Okay. I, I really want to find something permanent, you know what I'm saying? Because I do want to have kids. I do want to be married. So I want to find something that's more on a positive, permanent note. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, I'm too, like, I'm over, how can I say it? I'm overly genuine to people. I feel like I'm more loyal or I feel like I owe people something sometimes. Um, what else is another thing I have to work on myself with? Uh, um, mm, trying to think because I'm not perfect, but I'm pretty good, you know, but, um, uh, that would probably be like my biggest one. Like, I always feel like I owe somebody something or, you know, like, oh, because I care for them, I have to do this for them. I have to do that for them. It's like, I'm too nice sometimes, you know? Okay. They want me to ask you, is he an inmate? I don't think he's an inmate. He no, was a if, man, right? if they was listening, they would have heard. I said, I work at DJJ. It's the Department of Juvenile Justice where I work with kids, not grown men. Okay, well, we, right. well listen, here's the deal. We know you're a correctional <laughs> officer, but we're not all familiar with the place you work at. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't know. I, I, I mean, I didn't even know it was mm -hmm. a juvenile place, but that's why they asked me if, you, if he was an inmate. Mm -hmm. 
because you're a correctional officer. Yeah, everybody's and that's, not and that's my flaw. I see a lot of people in your comments like, that's not a flaw. In my opinion, that's my flaw. So it's y'all opinion that is not a flaw, but to me, that's a flaw. Which flaw are you talking about when right I, now? I was saying that I'm overly genuine to people. I feel like I owe them something. I'm too nice. That is a flaw of mine because if you think about it, people like me tend to get ran over and mistreated, misused, and everything like that. So that is a flaw. Oh. Okay. Bring the camera. I don't have your head cut off. We're almost done. Gigi, what's the age range you want to date? You're 25. Um, I say like anywhere between like 30 and up. 30 and up. Mm -hmm. And um, should he be in North, um, excuse me, South Carolina? That would, that would be there. Okay. Could he have kids? Yeah, just not a whole bunch. Oh, you said that. I'm not into that. Yeah. You, and you said that. Yeah. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm truly me. Um, I got a lot of different good things about myself. Uh, I cook, I clean, I make my own money, and um, I'm not a gold digger. And I just want to be loved. Sorry. And she just wants to be loved. <laughs> yes. All right. So we got Gigi, Columbia, mm -hmm. South Carolina, 25 Aquarius, correctional officer, no kids, never married, 30 and up. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, my, my Facebook profile is Dior May. Dior May? Mm -hmm. Dior May on Facebook. Have you downloaded the Kendra G Singles dating app? No, I haven't. Okay. So, Hell. there we go. Big mama in the house. She said to clear some things up. Nonetheless, she was just with a guy, what she said, a couple weeks ago? Yeah. And she and she been, she was trying to virtue signal by saying that she's known this guy for years. That didn't make it no better. It most likely made it more worse. Right? Because yeah, this ninja ain't going nowhere. He has, he done withstood the test of time. You keep letting them clash meets. That's the whole thing. It ain't like y'all clash meets and you didn't call them back for seconds. You don't call this ninja back for thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, et cetera, et cetera. He ain't going nowhere. She liked the meet clash of satisfaction. That is extremely detrimental. Then she gonna, if some ninja's goofy enough to deal with her, she gonna introduce this dude. That's just one of her friends. He was here first. Oh, this is my friend. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. That's dumb as heck. And little do you know, she still smell like this ninja. F and yuckity. As far as she go, we're going to throw her in the sub. Keep it moving. There we go. Lucy, your mama don't wear no drawers. Here she go. Take her. She in good hands. <laughs> the passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wave in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Man, that was rough. I couldn't stop shaking my head. Because the more she was talking, the worse it was getting. Yeah, she won fish, blue fished us to, into submission. She said she is overly genuine. <laughs> She's too genuine. Wrap your mind around that one. Like I said, these modern women, that's extremely narcissistic. Even their flaws are virtuous. You know, even their shortcomings, you know, their, their shortcomings are people's accolades <laughs> and accomplishments. I'm overly genuine. You know, I only rival Mother Teresa with my over genuineness. Shut up. So here we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. 